Welcome to this episode of Control Shift. MCP and A to A, why business leaders should care. In this series, we look at emerging technologies through the lens of the business leader. So how can we control the shift for our business as we utilize technology? But first, what even are these technologies? MCP or Model Context Protocol is an open standard that helps our AI application connect to and use external data sources, tools, and services. Now, for nearly any AI application to be useful for the organization's purpose, it needs more than just what is part of the language model, that generative AI that it is connecting to. It needs additional knowledge. It likely needs additional tools because what the model was pre-trained on doesn't understand the things that's unique about our organization. So when I think about MCP, it's like USB-C, but for AI integration. I don't need to write custom code and integrations for every tool, nor ascertain how to describe the capabilities to the large language model so it can be best leverage. Once these systems provide an MCP server, then any AI application, any AI agent can easily discover and invoke the capabilities. Now it's an open source standard. It's been backed by multiple providers, including Microsoft, OpenAI, Google, and many, many more. This will help ensure its continued evolution, its future and adoption. It uses enterprise grade authentication, OAuth 2.1. So that will help you integrate with your existing identity provider. For example, Enter ID. Then we have A2A or agent to agent. This again is an open protocol and it enables AI agents to communicate and collaborate together. I have another agent. It likely uses MCP to talk to its knowledge and tools. Well. When I have multiple agents, they have to be able to understand what the other agent can do. They have to be able to delegate tasks to each other and collaborate. This is what A to A performs. And once again, just like MCP, it's open sourced. It has been adopted by many industry partners. So if MCP gives the AI model the information and action it needs, A to A lets multiple AI applications and models work in unison. They are very much complementary to each other. Now, as a business leader, you care about these protocols for a number of reasons. If we think about MCP, well, firstly, it will dramatically simplify your AI integration and unlock new capabilities. So it will greatly reduce the time and costs of your development. I'm no longer creating these bespoke ways to talk to something or recreating a connector. So I will have a much shorter time to market for my new solutions and capabilities. Because I'm now using this standard, it will help reduce any vendor lock-in. I could very simply switch any component like the database, like some API, if it just has its own MCP server, I will continue to use my MCP based connectors, which are gonna to continue to function. These standards have built in security, built in governance. Now, you still need to take the necessary steps to utilize what is available. You still need to follow best practices. You still need to follow proper due diligence, but it's gonna be well tested, well utilized, and a lot of investment in these areas. And this one's really important for your capabilities, for your organization, creating an MCP server to expose your services will help ensure it's used by AI applications. Consider your history. You have some backend system. Initially, you took orders by phone, via the mail. Your customer base embraced the internet. They used a web browser. And so you, followed where your customers want to go. You created a web server and you enabled interactions through that web server. Well, now your customer is embracing AI, AI agents. And so rather than having their AI agent try and stumble around your website, trying to work out well, where should it be clicking and 
maybe being less than effective, expose an MCP server that will simplify and maximize your client's AI applications and agents ability to work with your offerings. And then when I think of A to A, well, it enables complex multi-agent capabilities. Agents are best when they are subject matter experts. They have a very singular defined skill. Therefore, in most business scenarios, you're gonna need many agents working together. A to A enables those agents to learn the abilities of each other and delegate those tasks. That ability to run multiple agents lends itself to better specialization of the agent and the ability to run tasks in parallel as different parts of the tasks are handled by different agents. Because it's an interoperability standard, well, it means agents can be built by different teams. As long as they're each following the A to A standard, they'll then be able to work very well together. And once again, it has native capabilities for authentication, access control, auditing, to help meet the needs of your organizations. And like MCP, I'm not having to write my own agent to agent integration. So I'm gonna have less dev time and a faster time to market. I'm gonna have increased agility. I'll be able to adopt new agents. If they speak A to A, well, I'm gonna be able to go and talk to those very, very swiftly. I can add, remove, switch agents however I need to. And so a key point here is, once again, it's getting me ready for the agentic web. As my customers use agents, and maybe I now have an agent for my services, their agent will be able to talk to my agent to get their tasks done. As these standards continue to evolve and are embraced even further, you're gonna really benefit from all that battle testing that everyone else is taking part of. So keep your organization at the forefront of these integrations and enable your customers to work the way they wish to work through A to A and MCP. So there are a lot of reasons for your organizations to utilize these standards. Yes, you reduce your development time, you reduce your costs, you can get to market quicker. You gain new levels of flexibility and scale. I'm using proven standards and I enable my services to take part in this agentic web, this AI future. I hope that was useful. Until the next control shift, take care.